Once you walk directly through Main Street and buy a thousand things, you'll finally be upon the castle. And you can walk right through it, it's really awesome. You can take photos in front of it, you have all this space. It's a great place to get some photos and enjoy the rest of your trip. This is what it's like to go through the most amazing castle in Florida. When you're going through the castle, make it a point to stop and check out all the cool mosaics of Sleeping Beauty on the wall. It's amazing, they're beautiful. There is a restaurant inside the castle, so you can spend a little bit more time here. It's called Cinderella's Royal Table. The thing is, you might want to make a reservation maybe like five or six months in advance because it fills up fast. Check out the line over here. Don't be afraid to ask a cast member if you want to take your photo. They will go out of their way to help you with anything. Once you get through the castle, you can go make your little kid a princess at Castle of Four. It's a great place to get the coolest and most hip and trendy princess wear in the park. <laughs> you can try your luck getting the sword out of the stone. Looks like it's happening today. Make sure you get a chance to ride the carousel. It's an antique carousel that Disney had brought here. It's got some of the original horses still on it, so you get to ride a piece of history. The music's great, and sometimes they play a few tunes that are Disney. Get a little bit uh, twerked a little bit. If you just happen to finish your ice cream cone from Main Street and you want another one, you can get another one right here. Storybook Treats has some more ice cream, so you know, keep that ice cream going throughout the day because it is really hot out here. Be cautious that all the rides in Fantasyland are made for kids, and that means that most of the kids in the park are probably on them. The weights tend to be a lot longer here than they are everywhere else in the park, so you're going to be standing in line for a little bit of time. Winnie the Pooh right now is 45 minutes wait, so be mindful of that. If you have dinner reservations or anything else going on. The best time to get on the teacups is right after you ate dinner. Make sure if you're like a kid, take your parents here right away. Teacups are awesome. Make sure you ride them. You'll scare the crap out of your family if you make it go really fast. Behind me is Be Our Guest. It's one of the newest Disney restaurants in Fantasyland. It's a great experience. You need a reservation um, a few months in advance because it does fill up for lunch and dinner. You can't go in there unless you have a reservation too. The experience is so much fun. You'll never get this anywhere else in the park. So I would definitely recommend it if you don't have dinner reservations yet. It's like being in Beauty and the Beast, just sitting in this square. Gaston's Tavern is right behind me. I'm so excited. We're going to go get a drink there. Um, you might even see Gaston over there, you know, doing some muscle lifting or whatever he does in his spare time. You can definitely get some of the drinks that they have from the movie because they actually are real people and they drink stuff. So feel free to stop by Gaston Tavern if you're thirsty. Foe's Brew. It's not real beer, so your kids can have this. <laughs> Although they might be a little hyper afterwards. It tastes like apples. Apple cider. Mm, it tastes like an apple cider. Ariel's Grotto is one of the newer things to open here at Disney. It's a really cool ride. Definitely geared towards kids, just like all the other ones in Fantasyland. Definitely falls for one of the longest wait times compared to Winnie the Pooh or It's a Small World. So this is one to also be cautious of. Since it is one of the new additions, I, we do want to point out that Fantasyland, although it has been marketed as being finished and awesome and great, it's still a work in progress. Enchanted Tales with Belle is a great way for your kids to meet a character and have them tell you a story. It's so interactive. It's a lot of fun too. You are at Belle's father's house, Maurice, and you just kind of got to go through there and there's some of the characters from the movie and they speak to you and they talk and interact with you. It's complete fun. If it's way too hot outside and you guys need some air conditioning, Bill Her Magic's the best place to go. It's a 3D movie with your senses involved. There's smells, sound, sights, a lot of fun. So as we mentioned, wait times are a big deal here at Disney. Um, the wait time for Peter Pan behind me is 60 minutes right now and behind that is a small world and that one's 20 minutes. So. It's just the big rides, everybody has to go on them because they're the best in the park, of course, they're classics. A good tip to follow with lines, kind of judging how long things are, even if you're not near the, uh, the sign that tells you how long the wait is, is to see if the line is outside of the ride. Um, you can tell right here, it's a small world that's outside right now, and that means the wait's going to be a lot longer than it usually is. Disney's so thoughtful to make snacks for everybody.